Morning. How's it going? It's Rick T, Outdoor Adventure. And uh, and I'm out with Billy Dog. And we're up in Scotland. We're not so far up southern Scotland. But we're out uh, we're out on Loch Ken. We're up here for three days, a couple of nights. Uh, just me and Billy. Just having a good old uh, chilling time. We're just sort of paddling. Quite a bit of fishing. It's a bit of a it's a great place for pikes, some big pike in here. So and I'm thinking there's gotta be some decent perch in here. So we're on the hunt for some pike and perch. But uh, the main objective is just to have a great time. You'll have all seen Billy before. If you haven't, you'll see him in a minute. He's in the front of the boat, just in front of the camera there. And uh oh, I absolutely love it. Ah, we love it, yeah. So, I think we've no itinerary as such, you know what I mean? But we're out, and we're having a good crack, me and Billy. What do you reckon, Billy? It's smart, isn't it, eh? Isn't it beautiful? Bet you're hungry, aren't you? Got half a sausage butty with me. Just trolling a spinner. Been having a bit of a do around some of reeds and around marshy bits. No joy at minute, but trolling a spinner. But uh, that off one now. So skies are pretty dark. Forecast for a bit of rain over the next few days, really. On and off. I'm hoping the forecast they're gonna got it wrong a bit. <laughs> and it's better than it said it'd be. But we'll see. Red kites are out. Which uh, you've got to expect coming up this way. Lock Ken, Lock Doon, etc. All these ones round here. It's a beautiful mixture of woodland, isn't it, Billy? All sorts. Birch, willow, alder, cedar, pine. You name it. Everything you could think of. Rowan, sycamore, beach. They're all there. I think this will do us Billy for camp number one. So that's going to be set up for tonight. <coughs> Simple tarp config, 3x3, so loads of room. <coughs> I've rigged it up, a bit of a slightly different design to give myself a little bit more room at this side. We've got uh, we've got my baby bag in there. We've got uh, an old builder's tarp to lie on Billy's bed. So, like I say, baby bag, builder's tarp, Billy's wool blanket. You can afford to carry a bit more gear when it's uh, you're in a canoe, and plenty of room at this side. We've got this side raised here, <coughs> so we can get a we can get a seat in here opposite the fire chill out at night if it starts raining I can just drop back in here and still be able to sit under the tarp read my book eat a bit of scram whatever without groveling about hey billy what do you reckon good lad hey good lad ain't you hey, good boy <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Chili dogs and cheese for tea, I reckon. Well, I more than reckon. I know I've just met it. So I've knocked it up on stove tonight. Well, uh, it's pretty mild and what have you. And uh, we'll leave it for it to. Uh, we'll spark the fire up when it starts going dark in a bit. I eat this, Billy, then we're going to have a tidy round. So, there. That's a pile of scran in it. Should do was all right that. Always great when you get that fire going in it. Fantastic. I've uh, I've got all my wood around it here, strategically positioned to try and dry it out. Fire's roaring away now, it's banging out some serious heat. You can hear it roaring. Yeah, it's gonna chill around this fire, make a brew. Share a few biscuits with Billy now for evening. I get an early night. Catch it morning. First brew it there. while it's early before breakfast we'll get a bit of fishing done now before breakfast spend an hour maybe two and we'll have a later breakfast but what a stunning still morning Great night's kit last night. It was alright. Plenty of kit. What a perfect morning though. It's absolutely flat calm. A little bit of mist. A little bit of mist over the top. We had a little bit of rain during the night, but not much. Very minimal. About half an hour's worth, then it stopped. We uh, love it. Massive. It's a feisty little bugger though. Yeah, it's a proper feisty little bugger. There we are. There we are. It's all right, isn't it? Stay there, Billy. Beauty. First little pike of the trip, and it's a gorgeous looking thing, isn't it? Bit of a late breakfast. Just had that nice little pike. Get out and do a bit more in a minute. Just come. Up. Good boy. Get her.
Just reached an island. I've camped on here before. It passed uh, a couple of times. Good little island, obviously. An island, isn't it? So it gets used. Other people tend to camp on these islands and leave a bit of a mess. It's not so bad today. Uh, there were a couple of lads I noticed on it last night. I saw them paddling past a couple of inflatable boats. So they've had a bit of a They've left the barbecue grill. I mean, this is a long established fire pit anyway, so I mean, you're better having that that everybody uses than having them all over the place. But I've noticed they've left a bit of a. At first, I thought it was rubbish, I don't know whether they're coming back tonight or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> but down here, I mean, I might even come back tonight. They've left the four, they've left four cans of Stella. <laughs> We've left four cans of Stella. I'll do all right, mate, for finding beer. Whether you've seen that survival challenge I did, I'll put a link up here. But I found a lot of San Miguel on that one. They've left four cans of Stella, and they've left some wood with a couple of fire lighters as well. So, whether they're planning on coming back or... Well, you won't, you won't think they'd be coming back tonight, would you? But who knows? Or maybe they're leaving it thinking, uh, we've not used it, we'll leave it for someone else. But if I do come back over here and use any of that stuff, I'll be taking the rest of the bags out of me. Yeah, that's going to be the spot for tonight. On that island behind me. You see it there? Yeah. I'm going to camp on there tonight, I reckon. I mean, it's a bit of a wet day and what I've been there. So, fingers crossed there's nobody else turns up. It's not big enough for multiple groups, so if, uh, if anyone else is here, maybe head back up to where I was last night, or, or drop back to this end, we'll see. But yeah, that's going to be, it's a cracking spot. High water levels today, though, that island's half the size as it can be. But yeah, yeah, we'll camp there. Well, I can safely say it's a skanky wet ass day and uh, this is an old spot I camped at about 10 months ago. Uh, me and Matty spent a couple of nights up here, Matty Magpie Woods, uh, and other lads come up for a day, <coughs> but uh, It's a good little spot, but it's a little bit early for me to set up camp. Been fishing for the last uh, oh, two and a half hours or something like that. We know joy, uh, sort of, sort of drifting, drifting and fishing as you go. We no joy at the minute, but uh, still enjoying it nevertheless. But uh, I think that island's looking like the best, the best spot. I mean, if this rains, if this rains in for day, which it's looking like it could be, I might be better setting up camp, you know, early afternoon, if you will, three o'clock or something like that. Uh, Getting set up with me nice bit tarp up and everything and I've got a base underneath away from rain. We can have a brew chill out. Uh, go out fishing sporadically from the island, doing a bit here and there. Uh, and then but we're settled in for the night anyway. So I could do that. I still my brain says for sure. But yeah, 
Hopefully the fantastic in it. There's no better than being outside having an adventure, is there? Hey, you can't beat it. No matter what you're doing, just being outside in the elements. Absolutely love it. And it's good to test your skills in those different environments, you know, when it's wet and when it's uh, miserable and what have you, and you've still got to get that fire going. And... Yeah, well, <laughs> all more X and H after finding that dry wood in that bag. But anyway, I had, I've got some dry wood anyway from last night. If you remember, I uh, I put me, when that wood I chopped last night, I put it under the torch for at night, so, so, and I brought it with me. I used a, a bit of an old bag I had with some scranning and I've shoved it in that, so it'll be dry, -ish. it might be a bit damp, but at least we know we've got some decent logs to see us through at night. Was the quick top up just so we've got a base somewhere to get under and stay dry from where we can sort my kit a little bit. Uh, tonight I've got a tent with me as well so I might end up in a tent behind this shelter, fire on the edge of the shelter. I could always kip under that, yeah, could drop the sides a bit later on and kip under it, I'll see what my brain says. But it'd be nice to bang the tent up and uh, have like the both two set up and the shelter on it, so we'll see how that pans out. Noodles and fish on a bed of bread. That'll do the trick. A hearty bit of scram. Whoa. Get a new, another brew on to wash it down and we're right, aren't we? Bit of island camping. I was going to say, if you ever get out camping on islands, it's not the best thing to think of when you're eating like, but don't have a shit on the island. You know, a lot of people, well, you know what I mean, we all have, if you're out for a day, you're gonna, you need a shit at some stage, don't you? But don't do it on an island where you camp, because islands see hundreds of people camping every year because that's what you aim for you aim for the islands in the middle of the lakes quite often 
and they're good camping spots away from anyone else. Sometimes you can have the island to yourself, unless it's a big and like St. Turbot's on Derwent Water, where you might have it with about six other big groups, if not more than that. But what I'm saying is, there's a mass of land around the lake or the lock or whatever. If you're brassing, just paddle over and find somewhere where there's not a campsite, dig an all and do your business. Because even if you do it proper on an island, you dig an all and do your business and bury it. There'll still be hundreds of turds on island, you know. And uh, Do you know what I mean? You're better off doing it somewhere where no one else is going to have a crap, you know around the coast somewhere, find somewhere where there's no campsite near it, you know, because you can you can spot all little camps, can't you, when you're knocking about where people have camped in the past. Find somewhere out of way. <clears throat> I'm saying it mainly because if you camp with your dogs like I do, you know what they like for rolling in fox shit and anything smelly, dead fish or whatever, well he will dig up a turd. So if someone's had a turd here recently, and I've not got my eye on him, he'll dig that turd up and roll in it. Which is a nightmare. So then I've got to bloody drag him into the lock and clean him off and yeah. So yeah. So, do you know what I mean? I mean you don't really think about it. A lot of, you don't you just think that well, I'm having a crap when I'm doing it proper. I'm digging and all. But yeah, take it to the next level and don't do it on the island. Paddle over elsewhere. That's my tip for crapping in the in the wilds. Best part of day now, Billy, isn't it? Hey, best part of day, isn't it? Hey. So that weren't a bad find, were it? A load of dry wood. <laughs> Even though there's some firelighters in it, so hell fire. So not much bushcraft tonight, no feather sticks and uh, splitting the kindling down tonight. Just uh, easy rider, but uh, hey, you've got to take them when you can. And they've even left me five cans of Stella. So it'd be rude not to have one, so cheers everyone. Oh. Cheers. From Scotland. Let's get this on here. Let's find a nice spot. Oh, swap that around in a bit. Just want a good spot where my cup's not gonna fall over. Get that in there. That's it. Let's get that first brew bubbling there. Eh? I'll soon be bubbling that. Honestly, what a massive advantage having an extra tarp makes. Sometimes you've only got one tarp and you're sleeping under it and living under it. So a decent sized tarp is an advantage, 3x3 etc. You can go even bigger than that. But I mean even just having that extra. Like last night I was in the nature height. Uh, so we, camped, we, we slept in the tent. But having this tarp up, just for when the weather's a bit wet and skanky, just for like now. Just packing my gear, I can lay it all out. I'm dry when it starts raining, the intermittent showers and what have you. Everything's here, I can just pack it at my leisure under this base. It's always worth chucking that tarp in.
not an happy chap. Oh mate. But I mean fantastic. There we are, look at that one. Hey. That's a good sized fish, isn't it? Hey? Another beautiful pike. Love it. Gorgeous. Beauty, look at that. Lovely fish. Absolutely lovely fish. Hey? Get it. Love it. Well, I managed to uh, get one of its teeth in me. What a catch though, eh? What a catch. Absolutely fantastic. What an absolutely fantastic few days I've had. Have you enjoyed it, Billy? I hope so. Yeah, of course you have. But yeah, fantastic. I mean, we've not had the best weather. It's been all right. We've had bits and pieces. A lot of rain yesterday. Uh, but just fantastic, great camps. Some cracking little fires. Loads of chilling time. Fantastic scenery. Good little bit of fishing. Just just everything on in again. Jeez. Nice one. There you. We're in again. What were I saying about fishing? Get that. Bit of a smaller one this time. But yeah, spot on. It'll do for me. There we are, another beauty. Lovely, aren't they? Yeah, what were I saying? At least I didn't cut myself on that one. But yeah, what a fantastic, I've loved it. Loved it, every minute of it. Every minute of it. And the pike are biting this morning, just shows, doesn't it? Love it. I love pike fishing from canoe as well. Oh, I love fishing from canoe. It's this. Man, if you've got a massive beast, it'd be uh, entertaining like. Just crossing over at lock. There's a bit of promising looking water over this side. Cross over. Maybe fish around here for an hour or so. Get a bit of jack bit. Another one, yep. So, another little one, yeah. Beautiful fish, though, isn't it? Right. Yeah, gone. Yeah, we've had a fantastic time, absolutely loved it. Just superb to be out here camping in this environment. And fishing and chilling around fire. Absolutely priceless. Yeah, priceless. So, anyway, look after yourselves. And me and Billy will catch you again real soon. Alright, catch you ladies. Ta da!